Now, if you watched the last video, you would have seen Brit, Papa Clutch, and myself trying to live out of a balloon and failing miserably because of hackers and the fact that I am terrible at this game. Brit got off early that night because he still wasn't feeling great, but me and Clutch still had some energy in us. We had a little bit of fire in our bellies, and Papa Clutch had a base on another server that was ready to rock and roll. So we figured we'd switch over, and seen as I'd only ever successfully raided somebody once by myself, he'd give me a little bit of a tutorial. Working out how well that tutorial goes is probably a job for you, but it was fun. I think I'm upstairs. You are downstairs, oh, man. Right. Don't worry. Welcome to the team. You might as well get the TC. It's in there. Start putting all your codes in. Have a little look in the boxes. Have a feast. Yeah. I'm going to get tooled up and ready for a roam. Uh, I need to just check if we need bullets or anything. I think I'm just going to take SAR to begin with. Have you had much raiding experience, stuff like that? Not really, man. I mean, for me, it's more um, working out like face layouts and stuff, you know? Like which yeah. which is the best way in and okay well i'll tell you what we can do then because there'll be a couple of bases around here i tell you give me a minute i'm gonna craft as many bean cans as i can uh and then we'll see what we're dealing with in terms of boom boom i'll get all that crafted up and then we'll have a little scout for a base and then you can sort of like we'll have a chat about where you think you should raid and so oh, well, i'm not perfect so. no that sounds good to me and with that we both got geared up and headed out to look for a base that was worth raiding what is this? Oh, look at that. Hello. A little wood Interesting. Door on the top as well. Yeah. Well, do, is it cheaper to go through like the wood or is it cheaper to go through the soft side stone? Oh, that's a good question. Have you got a jacket on you? Yeah, I do. Because yeah. I've got one as well. Oh, you did find one, did yeah, you? Yeah, I found one, yeah. Well, I mean, we could, uh, we could go grab a tier one if you want, like from the base. Figuring that soft siding through the stone was going to be the easiest way in, Clutch and I did our best to try and work out what the inner layout of the base would be and how many other doors we might find. I'm trying to think because realistically it's going to be door, like door, door and door here maybe, like this might be the entrance yeah. so we might get lucky. Let's get our eco on son. This could be ridiculous. Like, it could be ridiculous. It could also just be a whole fat lot of nothing. Oh, there's another soft side wall there as well. So we know that. Well, it's either this is TC, this is TC, or this is CC. So we could, because if we do satchels, if we go through here, right, we're into this triangle. So we skip one metal door. So, yeah. but then there's potentially two more single doors here. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? We could, we could just keep going through this one if you want, just to see what's in there, and then judge from there. Takes like three minutes. Yeah, well, let's go. Fuck yeah. That's a wood door, man. Yeah. That is a wood door. Right. You ever done a machete raid? We'll be through that door in no time at all, man. I swear to God, this better be worth it. What's behind it? What's behind it? Before we go through, what's behind it? <laughs> Okay, uh, metal doors. <laughs> <laughs> right, one code lock, one key lock. What do you reckon? Um, How many satchels is it to get for a metal door like that? We have more than enough. So we can t we'll let you, let you choose the door. Oh, don't do that, because I'll pick the wrong one. Every other door has had a code lock on it, apart from that one that's got a key lock on it. Uh, I'll stay on the roof while you do it, but... Yeah. What do you reckon? Yeah. So... You reckon key lock first? I reckon key lock first, yeah. Okay. How? Uh, I've just done a fair way back from these as well. Yeah, let me move. Oh shit! Oh shit! Let me move. <laughs> 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 oh, 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 shit! Oh, 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 Nice. There we go. Right, we're in. 
that's TC. And there's a sleeper nice. in there that's got nothing on him. TC needs. Uh. Uh, yeah, one, one satchel. Okay. Uh, oh, it's not, there's a load of wood in it. A lot of wood. No stone. <laughs> 70 scrap. Yeah. Alright. I mean, wasn't terrible. Seven. Yeah. So while Clutch headed back to main base for more supplies, I ran outside and grabbed our tier 1 and our repair bench and brought them back inside, ready to start soft siding into what we hoped was their loot room. So when Clutch got back, we sealed ourselves in, placed our own TC, geared up with pickaxes and got to work. It was a lot of wood, wasn't it? Hey, shit. Yeah, man. Oh. It's actually locked. They're what? actually locked. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh my god, it just does not air to add. Oh. Oh god. Okay. Alright, I'm not gonna lie. It's not looking good. It's <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> it's <warm. laughs> What even is this box, man? <laughs> That's a I box mean, of nothing, is what it is. <laughs> right, let's load yeah. up and get the fuck out. A little bit deflated, we grabbed everything that was worth grabbing, depoted it back at our main base, and then when the sun came up, went out looking for another target. Hello? What the fuck am I even looking at, man? Oh. He's got a fireplace upstairs, though. Guys are Chad. I mean, I'm a bit confused. So this base down here... Yeah. I've got a ladder. It's fully armoured. What the fuck is going Oh, there's a hole in the wall. Oh, no. Mate, what was this base? It was all completely armoured. Holy shit. A lot more roaming led us to this thing. Fully armoured. Boxes, refineries and furnaces all over the place. But it did look like someone had managed to raid it first. The question was, had the original raiders left anything behind? Yeah, alarm. It's like an alarm inside. Yeah. I can't tell what it is. So it's... Oh, you can just get so it's... Are you dead? That? Yeah. Uh, my body should be right next to you. Uh, that is a turret. Uh, I'm coming back down the hill now. Yeah. So we had a look around the roof to see if we could get to this turret before it got to us. And of course, this had varying levels of success, but mostly pretty terrible. While I was getting ready to respawn though, Clutch noticed that this base was still listed as having two vending machines on the map. And those vending machines were still stocked. The vending machines are still stocked. So there's yep. 18 Thompsons in one of these vending machines. Of, yeah, of five semis. And then yep. in the other one, there is four level three workbenches and one workbench level two. So uh, you wanna get one. It is an armored door. What I might do is I'm gonna come back to base, bring yep. you your shit back. Yep. I'm gonna have a little look at the sulfur we got upstairs and how many more potential bean cans we can make. Because let's say if we could get it down if, if we could make like get it down to the same as like four satchels so if we can make eight satchels right yeah and then we can blow it then that oh, yeah. isn't actually that bad to hammer raid of metal and that's exactly what we did we crafted as much boom as we could out of the resources that we had available and then headed back hoping to make that one super gigantic play is that that one in front of you is that what you said was your your neighbor friend yeah i've not even spoke to him but i respect how fucked up his base looks so i kind of like <laughs> we try we, like i kind of want to let him live because it's it's fucking hideous man like, i could live in something like that like the wood balcony second floor yeah genius genius it's pretty cool isn't it? right okay so that's up here and then through here and then sweet and then down here right now oh, wow. i want to see if you stand in this corner, yeah. I don't think I'll be able to. I want to see if I could shove you in. Nah, I think it's way too tight. Right, I'll just start satcheling the door then. Which door are we going for? So, this one here. The armoured one that's just there. Yeah, I should be able to do that safely from here, I think. Is that all of them? Yep. That is. Oh! 
too, yep. one step too far. That's definitely all of them. Oh. I thought you meant is that all of them on? Are all of them blown up? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, just see you, see you walk away. I was like, oh, that must be all of them. Oh my fucking god, dude. Right, I'm, please, I'm, I'm coming, man. I'm coming. I'm, I'm, I'm leaving it. I'm leaving it. <laughs> <laughs> is it ridiculous? Oh my god. I'm on my way up. Oh god. Oh god. That's a scientist shooting someone. Okay, you got your stuff. Do you want me to throw it down to you? There we go. I'm up. Have a little look. Ho Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god, that's so much stuff. Oh my god, right. Um, how are we going to do this? Just, uh, just loot I, and scoot. Yeah, I need to take tier threes are really important. Yeah. Oh, Rockets so are important. Stone, not so much. And then. Dude, that's insane. That was crazy. Right, okay. where's homeboy out there was being shot by the scientist? That's the question. Yeah, I'm looking to the right. So he was over towards the lighthouse, but I'll keep an eye. This is awesome because it's just like free kits, man. You can yeah. roam naked Tommy all day and still have guns <laughs> by the end of it. Look. Yeah. That's... I've never seen I've never seen anything like that. It's kind of crazy. It makes you think what's in the rest of the base, but so letting our curiosity get the better of us, we depoted everything back at base and then under the cover of nighttime went back to hammer raid through the front doors to see if there was anything else that had been left behind. On this base, they were all just like normal. They also I vote maybe this one cuz the raiders put it down. Yeah. Now at this point I had a few technical issues. I have no idea what I did but somehow I managed to only record the audio of the hammer raid and none of the video. That being said, as soon as we got through the door, a friend of the base owner turned up and countered us and we ultimately left with nothing anyway. Here we go. <gasps> it's a little bit open, I see boxes. No, I've gone down into the core, it's actually open to the very core. Nothing there. Uh, a tier 3. And that is it, and some Christmas lights. God damn it. Yeah, this thing must have been absolutely juiced. So yeah, I think we picked up. Oh, oh shit, dude, dude, go. Uh, I'm dead. Ah, oh, thank God there wasn't anything in there though. <sighs> Gosh, get the shit out of me. Yeah, he came in ready, man. What is it? Why is he killing me? Why you can oh. Yeah, ain't your friend's base anymore, bro. I know that. So why don't you just help me up and then I can go. Idiot. <laughs> Idiot. Yep. Um. Now by this point, it was about three o'clock in the morning and I had zero interest in getting into an argument or a battle with someone as petty as this. But that being said, I did want to know where this guy lived so that if I jumped back on the next day, I could make a target out of him. So I restarted Rust, logged back in, and went on the hunt. And lo and behold, he was living in the swamp next door. And there he was, just stood by his front door, waiting for someone to run past. I know where he lives now, though. I know where he lives. 